So My Hero Academia has a lot of interesting characters, right? But not all of them are in the My Hero 1 Justice series. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing another episode of the How They Can Work series. In this series, we look at characters that are not My Hero 1 Justice 2, and we try to break them down to create movesets for them, so hopefully one day they will become a playable character. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the winner of the first ever How They Can Work series poll, and that was Mirko. Mirko... Uh, was the winner of our first ever How They Can Work series poll, and honestly, I'm not surprised because she is popping off in Season 6. Like, she is so cool. Like, she's such a cool hero, and I can't wait to start talking about her, so let's get into it. Also, before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that there are some spoilers from the latest season of the My Academia anime, so just in case you haven't caught up or you haven't seen all the episodes, I just wanted to let you know that there are some spoilers just in case you didn't want to be spoiled. Now with all that out of the way, let's begin the video. So in the My Hero 1's Justice series, each character usually has a normal attack, a red attack or an unblockable, a yellow attack or an armor attack, and they also have a quirk 1, a side quirk 1, a quirk 2, and a side quirk 2, and they also have a plus ultra level 1, 2, and 3, but in this series, we don't look at the normal attack because it's usually just the same punch or kick, and we don't look at the plus ultra level 3 because it's just 3 plus ultra level 1s combined into one big attack, so we only look at the unique things in this series, so yeah, that's how the series works, so let's just dive into this moveset. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Mirko, the number 5 hero, and honestly, she is extremely cool. Her quirk rabbit allows her to do a lot of cool things, um, especially like in combat and stuff like that, because it's really cool to see her fight with like her legs and stuff, and you know, being able to like jump all over the place and hit the opponent really quickly, like it's really, really cool. And we're going to try to design a moveset around her rabbit quirk, so let's get into it. So starting off with her quirk 1, I have a label Lunar Arc. This is where she would use her ultimate move, Lunar Arc, to kick the opponent into the air when she's on the ground. In the air, she would kick the opponent back to the ground, which would cause a bounce. And yeah, I think this move is pretty solid. I mean, first off, it uses one of her ultimate moves, Lunar Arc, um, which is pretty cool. And I definitely think it has its purposes. Like, it's mainly designed for combos. Basically, if you're on the ground, it's a good way to get the opponent into the air. And if you're in the air, it's a good way to get the opponent back to the ground. Or maybe you can even continue the air combo because it causes a bounce. So overall, I think it's a pretty solid quirk one. Moving on to her side quirk one, I have a label Lunar Ring. This is where she would use her ultimate move, Lunar Ring, to spin straight towards the opponent, which would cause damage. And yeah, um, it's another move that I feel like would be kind of there to kind of like extend combos. But also, it would be a good move to kind of like close distance because um, she's kind of like spinning towards the opponent, like straight towards them. So it would be a really good move to kind of like close distance as well. And also, it's another move that incorporates one of her ultimate moves, uh, Lunar Ring, which is also extremely cool. So I definitely think it's a solid side quirk one for her. Moving on to her quirk 2, I have a label Rabbit Hop. This is where she would jump into the air if you're on the ground, so you get an extra jump with this quirk special. And if you press the button again, or if you're already in the air, she would fall quickly while kicking downward. When she hits the ground, her kick would cause 3 rocks that would launch from the ground, and it would basically give her a projectile. And if the opponent happens to get hit by the kick as she's falling, they would get dragged down, and they would get knocked back by the rocks when they hit the ground. So, yeah, I definitely think that's a really interesting quirk too, because it has like a lot of uses. So you could basically use it to just get like an extra jump. So she would technically have three jumps and that would make sense because she's the rabbit hero and you know, rabbits can jump. So it would make sense she would get an extra jump. But if you press the button again, or if you're already in the air, it would turn into her like falling downward and kicking the ground, which would cause like the ground to break up into like three different rocks, which would basically act as projectiles. So it would also give her like a ranged attack. And I definitely think that's good for her, like to give her some form of projectile. And we've also seen her um, do this in the anime when she saved uh, Endeavor and Hawks from Dobby. You know, she was in the air and she like fell straight to the ground and she kicked it and it broke up the ground and caused like rocks to fly, you know, towards like Dobby and stuff. So it's kind of like a reference to the series as well. So I definitely think it's a solid um, quirk too. You know, it has like a lot of uses, like it gives you an extra jump, it gives you a projectile. And yeah, I definitely think it's a pretty solid uh, quirk too. And finally, moving on to her side quirk too, I have a label Lunar Tijeras. This is where she would flip forward and use her ultimate move Lunar Tijeras to grab the opponent, and then she would slam the opponent into the ground causing a ground splatter. So yeah, I mean, I think that's also a pretty self-explanatory move, you know, she uses her ultimate move, Luna Tijeras, which is really cool. Um, she basically grabs the opponent with her legs, and then she kind of like bends backwards and slams them into the ground. And in this game, it would cause a ground splatter, which is also really good for combos and stuff. So I definitely think it's a pretty solid uh, side quirk too, and it's also awesome to see another one of her ultimate moves um, incorporated into her moveset. Moving on to her red attack, I have it where she would do a roundhouse kick. And for a yellow attack, I have it where she would kick the opponent and 
and the kick wouldn't like knock the opponent away. Um, so you can't really follow up after it, but it can cause a wall splatter because of like the knockback force. So yeah, I definitely think these are two solid attacks for her. We've seen her do these attacks in the anime. So, you know, it makes sense for her to have them in her moveset. Um, and I definitely think they'd be really cool animations to see, like, the roundhouse kick or, like, a really powerful kick that would, like, launch the opponent. Like, I definitely think they would look really cool in the game. Moving on to her level 1, I have it where she would kick the opponent into the air, and then she would jump up and then use her ultimate move, Lunar Fall, to slam the opponent into the ground. So, yeah, it's a pretty fast level 1, but you can definitely feel the power behind it because, you know... She uses her ultimate move, Lunar Fall, to like slam the opponent into the ground. Like, I can definitely see where the level 1 damage is coming from. Also, it's pretty cool because we get to see another one of her ultimate moves in her moveset, um, Lunar Fall. So, I think that's pretty cool because I feel like, you know, adding as many ultimate moves into her moveset as possible, um, you know, definitely feels like Mirko, especially, you know, after seeing Season 6 where she was fighting those um, high end no moves. Like, she was using so many ultimate moves in that fight so you know giving her the opportunity to kind of like do that in this game where she can use as many ultimate moves as possible like that fight as well i definitely think would make um it feel like you're playing mirko and yeah i definitely think it's a pretty solid level one and yeah um let's move on to her level two and finally moving on to her level two i have it where the animation would begin with mirko flexing her muscles in her legs then she would jump towards the opponent and kick them upward which would send the opponent flying she would then jump up to follow the opponent, and as she reaches them, she would spin forward and use her ultimate move, Luna Tijeras, to grab the opponent, and then she would kind of like fall down while using her ultimate move, and then slam the opponent into the ground, which would cause a debris explosion. The animation would end with the debris clearing, and we would see Mirko standing over the opponent who has just been knocked out. So yeah, another really fast plus ultra move, but I definitely think that's fine because when Mirko is fighting, she's extremely quick. So I feel like it kind of makes sense that her plus ultra moves are kind of like fast to kind of like match her like pace when she's fighting. And even though it's fast, um, it still feels really powerful because I mean, come on, she uses Luna Tijeras in the air. Like she basically grabs the opponent and then falls and slams them into the ground, which causes a debris explosion. Like it really feels powerful. And I definitely like her level two. Like, I don't know. I, I just think it would be really cool to see animation wise. You know, I, I just think it'd be really sick. And that is the moveset I've created for Mirko. I really like this moveset. Like, I think it's a really solid moveset. The reason why is because I feel like it feels like Mirko, if that makes any sense. Like, think about it. During her fight with the high-end no moves, she was extremely fast, she was extremely powerful, and she used, like, a ton of ultimate moves. And I feel like this moveset captures that same feeling. Like, in the moveset, she's fast, she's powerful, and there's, like, a lot of ultimate moves for you to use. So, like, I feel like it captures that same feeling, and it just makes you feel like you're playing Mirko. And I like that. Like, I like it when movesets can do that. And not to mention, there's, like, so many different combos you can do with these moves and stuff like that. And that's why I think it's a pretty solid moveset. And also, I would love to see Mirko get added into My Hero 1 Justice 2, especially after watching Season 6, because it's been cool to get to spend time with her and watch her fight. Like, it's been really cool, and she's done a lot. And I would love to see her get added into My Hero 1 Justice 2. Like, Season 6 has been amazing so far. Like, it's been really, really good, and I've been having a blast watching it. But yeah, that is my moveset for Mirko. If you guys would like to see a specific character in the series, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to try to create a moveset for that character. And if you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe, that'd be really amazing. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs before the end of the year, so if you guys happen to enjoy this video at any time, please like and subscribe, that'd be really amazing. It would help me out a lot, and I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Later.